On today's show, we're going to talk about the most exciting thing in NFTs. I actually think maybe ever. Dookie Dash. That is right. Dookie, like poopy, Dash. The game that Yuga created that I believe is going to absolutely revolutionize NFTs. Welcome to Goats in the Metaverse, my friends. I am joined by my prestige colleague, Jossie. Are you playing Dookie, Dookie, Dookie Dash or what? I have been playing some Dookie Dash. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not getting very high score, but haven't given it a lot of time. Uh, I also think I need to play with a mouse and not a trackpad. I think that's mm-hmm. my downfall. We're going to talk. Uh, we're going to talk but- about all the secrets of Dookie Dash. Why? Why you need a mouse pad? Why? All the secrets and why people are in the NFT world are saying either it's the best game and best thing to ever happened in Web three, or the worst thing to ever mm. happen in Web three. And you're going to leave us a comment by the end of the show on what you think of Yuga's Dookie Dash. We're going to cover that in depth. But before we do that, let's have a look at the market and the market. We today the in market. The world of NFT. Oh, green baby, green. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. I got to tell you. I got to tell you. Maybe I'm just getting excited, but we've been seeing a lot of green. We've been seeing a lot of green in January. Uh, I I, I think I have some PTSD from uh, the winter. So, you know, every time it goes up, I'm like, nah, it's going to go down now. It's going to go down. It's going to all go to zero. Uh, uh, we are but, seeing some good attention and good rallies. Bitcoin is up, ETH is up, Solana is up, and ApeCoin is up from uh, its uh, previous high um, for this year. But the biggest mover still Solana, twenty four dollars, eight bucks at its low, or seven, almost seven dollars, just under seven dollars at its low. Quick three week trade could have tripled your money. Three hundred percent, baby. Looks Ethereum bad. holding strong at one six one six. We've been talking about it. For this whole year, it's like one one, and all of a sudden it's at one six. The crypto market does move fast. When it recovers, it recovers quickly. And you know how you know things are going a little bit better? Like my friends who are so disconnected from the space are like, I saw Ethereum has been going up. I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> Come it. back, man. Coming Come back, back in. We're going back in. Let's let's see what, what what NFTs are doing. And let's see those green and red arrows. Uh, more red than green, but steady, steady, right? I think I think very similar to the numbers we we had when we lasted the show, B A Y C seventy three Ethereum, which I hate to say, it's not financial advice. I it might be cheap at this point. It, it might be. Yubi just continues to provide value and pretend, pre, continues to give you money. Uh, might be cheap. I don't know, but let's get into Dookie Dash. Let's talk about. Dookie Dash. First of all, this whole concept is about a monkey taking a shit, right? Like, <laughs> can we talk about this? This whole concept, like, I watched the video with, like my kids, and my kids were watching, and they were like cracking up, and I'm just like, this is so smart because you're connecting generations together. Like, everybody wants to talk about somebody taking a poop, right? I mean, it's like, it's like, it's the universal language. It's fun. It's fun. We're having fun again. Um, so for those of you who let's give a quick synopsis of what is this? So Yuga built a game called Dookie Dash. Uh, if you owned an ape or a mutant or an ape and a mutant or a dog, you were able to get a sewer pass, which happened last week, which we covered on the show before. Um, with the sewer pass, there was different tiers. Now you were able to get this mint pass and for next I think it's 15 days now or 14 days. You had 18 days to play a video game. Uh, the game is called Dookie Dash. Uh, what happens is you're literally playing a game. Um, I think we have it. Let's let's show it. I hope we have it. Uh, you're playing a game where you're flying through a sewer and you're collecting different things. And the higher the score you get, the better it is. Oh, there you go. Boom. We're flying. For, the, further, the further you get in the sewer. The, the, the further you get in the tour to find Jimmy's key, the better it is. Now, if you have a tier one, so here's where the tiers come in. If you have a tier one, 
no bonus points. Tier two, you get 10% bonus. Tier two, uh, three, uh, sorry, it's 20%, 30%, and 40%. Am I right? 20, 10, 30? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So the different tiers give you different bonuses. So if your score is 100,000 and you have you know, tier two or tier three, you get an extra bonus. What does this all mean? And why does anybody care? Well, the winner, after everything is said and done, the high score gets the golden key. We don't really know what the golden key is. But, but we know it's golden. We know it's going to be good. I mean, at first, they're like, it's going to be worth a million bucks. I think it's going to be worth way more than a million bucks, right? Because it's going to be worth more than a million dollars. I really do. And I'm, I'm going to explain my whole theory of why. You're saying it here. You heard it here first. You the golden key first. worth so more than one million dollars. What is this key? So also, you just said the more you play the game or the amount of points you get, it's going to be helpful for your mint that's going to be happening soon. So there is gamification involved. There's going to be another mint. You have the sewer pass. It, it's giving you something. The more points you have, the more the better you're going to perform on this mint. We don't really know what that means. But here's what I'm going to say. For what I've seen in the last three days, like gamers, like gamers that are making millions of dollars gaming are sitting there playing this game, trying to get the key. It, it's like turning into like survival of the fittest out there. People are hiring gamers to go play the game. Um, like I know of a few people that have offices built out playing, filled with people playing this game. This is turning in, into like a business. Here's why it's important, at least in my mind. This is not even the game. This is like a mini bullshit game that they came out with and they have everybody's attention, YouTube's attention, gamers attention. Like I, I have friends who <laughs> send them send their kids to school today because they're sitting at home playing the game. Like it's bananas. Child labor, child I mean, labor. Well, well, the gamer that's going to be good in this game is probably somewhere eleven years old to like twenty seven years old, right? Like okay. the younger they are, the better they probably are because they know how to play these games. The game is a little bit of addicting. I have played it. Uh, I'm not a gamer myself, but I like. And now we have ApeCoin, right? Like you could buy boosts. ApeCoin's going up. In my mind, I'm like, well, what happens when the other side launches? Is this just like, is ApeCoin just going to go nuts? Hashtag not financial advice. Do your own research. Yeah, see, let's break this down. I'm so excited. I, I can't even like break down the different possibilities that could potentially. What's come. happening here? Well, I think what, what, what's, what's interesting is what we've been talking about for quite some time. You bought something. You bought a picture of an ape a long time ago. Hopefully a long time ago. Uh, and we keep on saying it's not a picture. It's not a JPEG. It's more than a JPEG. It's a ticket to a world, a entry point into a universe. It's commercial rights to commercialize your own branding with your own ape, to create your own IP. It's all of these things wrapped into this thing called an NFT. And we're seeing it play out here with Yuga and how they're bringing their story to life. Um, first, it started with the apes. Then they brought up the mutants, then the dog, the dogs, then the mutants, and then this whole story and the other uh, other side. Now, what they're showing here is that they are an entertainment and Web3 brand. They are know how to use the mechanisms within this ecosystem to drive attention and to drive value. Because if you are a holder of one of their ecosystems, whether you hold a kennel or you held a mutant or you held a um, an ape, you got this pass that is now worth $3,000 at the lowest tier. Where else have you seen a gain or a community or an entertainment franchise that because of something that they're bringing out and that you get access to it because you're one of their first customers, you now have something worth 3000 bucks that other people are willing to pay and buy. On the shelves, looking at the activity on OpenSea, a level three pass sold for three and a half ETH. That is $5,000 that someone has now decided, I'm not going to play the game, but I'm going to let someone else play the game and take the chance at this key that we're speculating to be worth a million dollars down the line. Now, that is happening, and I think it's a big thing. I think people are not, don't really get how something that can be given to you for free can be worth tens of thousands of dollars, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars, if you participate in this type of ecosystem. What Yuga has done is enabled people to speculate on them effectively 
at multiple tiers. You can pay five bucks and own an ape coin. You can pay three thousand dollars now almost and get six. A, 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 almost six bucks, and you can open a ape coin. You can buy a sewer pass for three thousand dollars. You can buy a kennel club now for I think it's about twenty thousand dollars. You can buy a mutant for about forty or fifty thousand dollars, or you can buy a board ape for close to a hundred thousand dollars. And they're stratifying their community. They're enabling it to go larger and larger and larger with these different tiers in their ecosystem. But they're very clever in how they are thinking through the reward mechanism for everyone in that chain. And I think this is going to be the playbook that we're going to see playing out time and time again with gaming brands, with entertainment franchises. Uh, and the ones who can figure this out are going to create some really strong raving fan communities, really profitable communities for them and their businesses. But 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 here's the crazy part. They've done this in like not even a year and a half, right? Or I guess it's a year and a half now. Like they've literally continued to over exceed every expectation. And you're kind of like, oh, like, what are they going to do? They had this crazy big mint. They wasted all this gas money with the other side. And now you're kind of like, there's, I don't want to call them kids because we don't want to talk about child labor. But like, you know, the 18 year old that's a gamer, right? That's been telling his parents that he wants to play games for a living. He, and we had this whole like scene in, in the NFT space where, Everyone's like, oh, these gaming companies are coming in and they're going to build this game and NFTs are going to be cost money. Now we're actually seeing it happen. We're seeing it happen from, from somebody that is established, that is credible, that has the money, that has the team, that has the people. And they're giving you a very quick glimpse into like, this is what the future could look like. Yeah. Right? People have said the other side is going to be like Fortnite. And you're like, you know, are they going to really build Fortnite? Like, can they really get away with it? Well, they just came out with like this technically a bullshit game, right? This pretty basic game, yeah. Yeah, like a basic game, and they have attention. Like they have everybody's attention. And now you're getting you're exposing people from a young age, right? Like, like, like my kids know about the game. My friends' kids are playing the game. And they're gonna be like, they're growing fans, right? You play that game, you're like, oh, this is cool. Who made this? There's guys on YouTube who have millions and millions of followers who are playing the game. And educating more people about the game you're going to have more and more people come into the community you're going to so once the other side does launch there's kind of this new wave of fans that are there and they're going to receive it right and i'm assuming you know like we're all pay, playing for this golden key and there's probably going to be one winner right and it's probably going to be some crazy gamer who's going to become famous out of this or it may even be a studio that like pulls a whole bunch of gamers together and says we're all playing as a team Right, uh, and whatever the winnings is not an individual that goes right. out and wins this, yeah. whatever they're doing, but but from a different perspective, like now you're going to be like you're introducing people to ApeCoin because they're going to be like, Oh, and there is an ApeCoin component to it, you could boost your score with ApeCoin, right? So, the different level of it is like, Well, the people that own ApeCoin and are staking it, you're going to assume the value of ApeCoin is going to go up because people are buying ApeCoin to go play the game. Like there's so many complexity levels and how smart it is. And it's like, to me, everybody else has these plans. Like, you know, I don't want to talk smack about it. like doodles bought a studio today. It was an, an animation studio. An yeah. animation. Congrats. Like that's it. But like, these guys are like a hundred years in front of them. Like who cares? Like we're playing Dookie Dash. It's like, we're staking ape coin, right? It's like, holy, like, how is an animation? You have to go buy that animation studio, create the best animations in the world, and cap. You still have to capture that interest. These guys yeah. are capturing the attention. They're capturing the interest, and they're doing it on so many different levels. And like, it almost seems like at a certain point, it will come full circle and it will come together. But we talk about onboarding the masses. To me. This could be it. Because if you get that attention of those 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year old, 18, whatever, like that's how YouTube got big. TikTok, like kids are on TikTok. That's why it's huge. Yeah. Once you get that attention of those people, the advertisers are going to follow, the general masses are going to follow, like everybody else is going to follow. Um, this could potentially be like a complete game changer for the industry. And it all is about a toilet. <laughs> 
And it's all about a toilet. Uh, and in terms of just in the business economics of it for Yuga themselves, uh, not a massive money spinner, but obviously driving attention for them. $38 million in trading volume, 5% royalty that they earn on that. They've made $2 million in revenue out of people playing this game and trading the sewer passes. There's still another 15, day, another 15 days to go. There'll be a lot more trading that happens. I wouldn't be surprised if that number gets close to $10 million. I don't know what it costs them to create the game, put it out, market it. Not Probably not $10 million bucks. Uh, and they've given something away for free. They've created value for their holders. They're doing some fun and entertainment. We're talking about it. They made $10 million bucks maybe by then uh, out of the whole equation. It's like a win-win-win for everyone. The tide is rising with everyone. Typical games, typical production companies, typical media houses, it's extracting value from the ecosystem. Everything is about extraction. You're going to play this game, you pay, you buy your thing. There's no reward for you. The reward is the fun and the entertainment, but there is no economic reward or an economic incentive. And this is really changing that, that everyone in this is benefiting out of this drop out of this game. And that's the, that's the promise of Web3 is that we can all be co-owners. We can all be uh, winning and losing together. <laughs> winning. Winning and losing. But, but I think the other thing is like you're, you're telling somebody they get to play a game and potentially make money out of it. Right or or gamers being hired to play this game now like that is that is huge right like like that is a big big thing that is happening that nobody would like I didn't think was going to happen for a while like we knew it was happening with Axie Infinity but like now it's like I like I heard like real gamers like real real gamers are playing this game like guys that don't need the money but if they do win that prize they could they have flex. They have flex from the community. They have flex from everybody else. Um, another thing that what you said resonated with me the most was it's accessible to everybody. You could own an ape coin for six bucks. I think everybody has six bucks, right? And now you're part of the ecosystem. Or you have that ape that's worth whatever, a few hundred thousand dollars or whatever it is, or you have all these other assets. But they did open it up to everybody. You 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 could be part of that ecosystem, and now you could start rooting. And I'm going to assume, and don't quote me on this, that once the other side comes out there, I'm sure there's going to be some sort of way where you could earn eight, right? There's going to be some sort of incentivization for people that are playing this game consistently, or whatever the case may be. This is so. Exactly- if, I'm, if, if I'm a listener today uh, or a viewer today. What am I doing? Am I buying ApeCoin? Am I buying a sewer pass? Am I buying a dog? Am I buying an other that, Like, where am I entering I think the it depends, I Yuga think Labs it, ecosystem? I think it depends where you are. I think if you're a gamer, right, you are probably reaching out to guys on Twitter and saying, hey, I see you own an ape. Hey, I see you own a mutant. I'm a gamer. Is there a way I could play for you? You don't have to pay me. But if I get the score, maybe you do pay me which I've seen happening. It's happening right now. Um, so you're, you you know, in order to play this game, you do have to have a sewer pass. So if you can't go forward three grand for a sewer pass, which not everybody can, go play a game for free for somebody else and, and see if they could incentivize you to hit certain scores. So, so, so there's ways of getting in on that. If you do have three grand, go buy a sewer pass, go play the game. If you're like, I don't want to play a game, I don't want to do anything, and I don't have more than 12 bucks in my pocket. Buy some ape coins. Buy, 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 buy two ape coins and root for it to continue to go up, right? Hashtag not financial advice. Um, and, you know, we talked about, well, I just said it, it looks cheap at 73 Ethereum. We know that apes are still the granddaddy of them all, and they get rewarded the most. So it doesn't. So if you could put seventy three into an ape or a punk, what are you doing? Me? Yeah, it's you. I, I, I'm saying ape. Oh, I, I know. Yeah. I know that's that's not the controversial the, take. I I know that's not the popular decision. I'm taking ape because I am betting on Yuga, and I know Yuga owns punks. But I think 10 years from now, it's probably, you know, like maybe CryptoPunks are worth much more than apes.
but how much value did they give me in those 10 years? What are those benefits? How many more sewer pass or monkey shits or whatever else? (laughs) A pests, everything you could think of. Yeah. I mean, there's, 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 you know, there is a liquidity there, right? There is like, we talked about staking. If you haven't watched a show about staking, watch it there. It's complex. There's a lot of complexities to their ecosystem. And we know there's still me bits. We know there's still so like, and think about it. we the first video we saw that they dropped about the other side. There was cool cats in there, right? Who else was there? I think Clone X was there. They still there's still codas. We don't really even know what that means. Like there's so yeah, many. There's more there is more there's to still come. So many things, and all the people that were complaining about dogs, that were like, I dogs got the tier four pass. That tier four pass is worth what seven Ethereum right now. Uh, it could be, could be close to that. I think okay. it's close to that. So a dog at one point was, I think, three. Yeah, right. You got your money back. Doubled your money if you're if now you have to hold those other assets. Yeah, right? the, the yeah, yeah. Mutant. But listen, you know, I I was the one that was saying, maybe offline, maybe on the show, like selling that ape at four hundred fifty thousand dollars would have been crazy. Now you're kind of like, I mean, the move was sell the ape. Well, sell the ape and buy, buy it back in and get all those. <laughs> right? I mean, that, it's but, easy, easy in hindsight. Easy, easy, easy to hindsight. do it. Yeah. If I had, if I had, uh, you know, if I could predict you scores. Crystal ball. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, I think this was my favorite show so far of the year. You let us know in the comments. Did you get any value from this? Let us know your questions below. Um, and let us know what's. And- if you're playing, I got, the game, stewa- I, got I got some Stua passes. Happy to make a deal with anyone. Oh, who can oh, game, uh, oh, whoa, whoa. If oh, you are a gamer and you're looking to play the game, let us know in the comments. We got, I got a tier one, a tier two, a tier three, a tier four pass. Oh, open for business. Right. Open I, for business. You might have a goats in the metaverse gamer. Gamathon. Yeah. Game-a-thon. I like it. Let's do it. Uh hope you guys enjoyed the show. I know I did. And uh we'll see y'all soon.